So using a silage additive can be part of a critical plan in terms of improving your milk from forage. Silage inoculants have been shown in many trials to improve animal performance. We've seen increases up to one and a half litres in milking cows and up to 15% in daily live weight gain in beef cattle. Ourselves this year are looking at our own independent analysis of those silages which have had inoculant and those that haven't have clearly proven an extra litre or so in milk production in my experience, I often find that silages that have been treated with inoculant are much more consistent. A consistent silage is much easier for someone like myself to put a better diet together for your cows. Cows don't like change and having a consistent product in front of them all of the time is absolutely critical. Normally forages are coming in from the field in around pH 6 and above. What we're trying to do is to get that forage down to that 3.7, 4.2 pH to get a stable fermentation. The idea behind this is that we start off with the aerobic phase, we want to remove all that air, then we've got the stable phase and then we've got the feed out phase. Um, and the quicker we do that, the more energy we protect in the forage, the more protein that we have available to feed back because we definitely don't want that to degrade in the clamp through secondary fermentation. What we're doing here is we're really entering a, a relay race and that's why I like to use combination products whenever it comes to silage inoculant. So we need a bacteria that's going to bring the pH down quickly. Quite often that's your Lactobacillus plantarum bacteria and then we switch over to what I would call the heterofermentative bacteria. That changes that lactic acid to an acetic acid profile uh, but it also helps us with keeping the face cool, it helps us with feed out, it helps to keep that silage from spoilage. And what we're trying to do is minimise wastage, increase feed efficiency and increase the nutrient availability to the animal that's being fed. If we don't control the, the ensiling process, then we're leaving it up to natural fermentation. It makes it so hard to produce a balanced diet. In terms of product selection, it all depends on our situation. When I'm looking for just ordinary, straightforward preservation, it's normally that homofermentative lactic acid producing bacteria. When I'm moving into higher dry matter forages, or if I'm working with legume type forages, um, I specifically like to choose a mixture of homofermentative and heterofermentative bacteria. And what that gives me is control from start to finish and I actually enjoy being able to select the inoculant to match the crop so that I know that after all the work that we've gone through in growing the crop that we're coming out with an end product which is highly nutritious, which is really efficient and which is really sustainable to feed to them to the dairy cow. Four farmers have a range of additives and inoculants for silage available. Please talk to your account manager or forage specialist to make sure we get the right one for you.